Today I want to go through and break apart what sciatic pain truly is and what some other kind of mystifiers are. If we take a look at our lumbar spine, we're looking here at the dermatome, everyone. So these are the patterns by which our nerves get distributed down along our skin. So you can see that the, the first of our lumbar spine, L1, starts up top and wraps around to the front. And then L3, L4, L5, they start to move down the leg. Our last bit of the spine is called the sacrum, and that's going to innervate the back of our leg all the way down to the outside of the foot, as you can see here, coming to the outside of our ankle. If we take a look underneath the skin, we're going to be able to determine how some of these structures are really implying where our pain comes from. So we're going to pull down, take away the skin and all of our fat pads, and we're going to take a look at our musculoskeletal system. And I have our nerves also visible here. Before we get in any deeper into the uh, sciatic pain, I want to talk about something called clunial pain. Sounds like George Clooney, just not spelled the same. So these are the clunial nerves. They actually originate from in the upper lumbar spine, so L1, L2, L3, and they innervate right onto the top of gluteus maximus, right up there. So if people have pain that radiate down into the buttocks region, this is a, typically something that we want to take a look at. This can be a job for uh, what we call neuroprolotherapy, or using uh, the, a very light dextrose solution to help unentrap these nerves that can be encased or kind of fibrosed within the fascial network. So that's called clunial nerve pain. No relation to George Clooney again. Okay, so we're going to move through past our lats. These are the latissimus dorsi, and they build in what's called the thoracolumbar fascia. I'm going to go ahead and move all of these big muscle groups out of the way and go down into our deeper layers. We have the erector spinae muscles. We have some core muscles like the transverse abdominis. So these muscles can go into spasm, but those are just symptoms. We need to go down a little bit deeper. This is the QL or quadratus lumborum. You can have muscle spasms in there as well. I'm going to move all of these out of the way, and I'm going to peel back some of these nerves so it gets a little bit confusing. And right to where we have what we call that back dimple, we have a very important ligament. Now remember, ligaments connect bone to bone, and this is called the iliolumbar ligament. So the top part of our hip is called the iliac crest, and we have origin of this ligament onto L4 and L5's transverse process. If I turn our model all the way around, we can see that this iliolumbar ligament also attaches onto the front side of our SI joint, as you can see there too. So pain that kind of is going down and feels deep and achy can be a problem with our iliolumbar ligament. Okay, so we can go down even further. I'm going to remove some more of these nerves because it just looks like spaghetti. And we're going to see our nerve roots. Okay, so the nerves that go down our leg all bundle together inside to what we call the sciatic bundle but individual nerve roots are coming from the nerve uh, root itself in between a disc. So this is the disc of L4 and L5. I'll zoom out so you can see where we are a little bit better. These nerves can get compressed from a bulging disc. Now, the bulging disc is not always necessary to treat. We have to understand that uh, an MRI or any imaging that shows something that it's abnormal in structure that does not mean that's where your pain is coming from. So I like to avoid doing surgery whenever possible and really start to exhaust all of our other options that are conservative without drugs or surgery. So taking a look at the iliolumbar ligaments, taking a look also at our facets. So these are the joints, the actual joints of the spine that click and pop anytime you go into a twist or have a chiropractic adjustment. These can develop arthritis. If you have more pain with back bending versus forward bending, you could be having some arthritis building in there. If you have any questions about anything more about the sciatic pain or any low back pain, great opportunity to give us a call and set up a consultation. I'm Dr. Soar at The Source of Health. Visit our website at sohnatural.com for more info. Mm -hmm.